stew turnip greens. Oh girl, your grandma gonna wanna fight me after this one. Now with this video, I'm gonna take my time. I heard you all loud and clearly say I go too fast, so I'm gonna slow it down for you so you get the full details. Now we're gonna start off by washing our turnip greens. I wash them in my other sink and I like to clean my sink out first. And then as the water is running, I pour salt on my greens. And salt is an abrasive and it helps get rid of the dirt. So as I'm washing, I'm tearing my greens at the same time. Now, if you choose to roll and chop your greens, that's absolutely fine. I just find that this step is a lot faster. And I do this about two times before I put it into a strainer and give it a final rinse. Now I am working with a smaller batch of greens. If I had a larger batch of greens, I would do this a couple more times just to make sure I get rid of all the rocks and a little dirt and I also go ahead and wash my turnips next we're gonna go ahead and start with my veggies I like to use a red bell pepper green bell pepper sweet onion but if you don't have a sweet onion a yellow onion will do and I like to add my garlic now right here I'm pressing on my garlic so I can break the cell walls which release a lot more flavor before chopping it and then I also add in the jalapeno I'm gonna use some grapeseed oil and I use a good amount because we don't have meat that's typically cooked with southern greens we have to add the oil Oil to it so next I'm going to saute that for about two minutes before adding my clean greens and then I'm going to heavily season I'm going to use some kosher salt black pepper garlic powder onion powder crushed red pepper and some dry thyme next I'll add in some water in this part you can choose to use vegetable stock as well for additional flavor but I also use um, pork bouillon now right here it is artificial it is vegan you see all those ingredients you can screenshot it if you do not trust me this is absolutely vegan and i get it from the asian market next i add in my vegetable bouillon powder so it can give it even more flavor then i add in a product called liquid smoke which is going to give you that smoky flavor that you're used to with ham hocks and smoked turkey necks and then add in a little bit of vegan Worcestershire which sauce which doesn't have the anchovies like the typical w sauce next i'm going to go ahead and work on my turnips and i start by peeling that skin off and cutting off the bottom and then i'm going to cut these into like small one inch squares you can do this to your desired size some people like it big some people like it tiny it's totally your preference i like to sit my turnips in a bowl of cold water so they don't change color because i don't add them to my greens until halfway through cooking which is about 45 minutes and once i add it to my greens that's when i add in my sweetener for this one i'm going to use a plant-based spicy honey and then i'll also add in a dash of vinegar and i allow these greens to cook for another 45 minutes over low heat now you know there's no good pot of greens gonna go without some cornbread so let's go ahead and get into to my cornmeal biscuits i want to start off by making my vegan buttermilk which i use an unsweetened plant-based milk with some apple cider vinegar and i set it to the side i'm going to add in my self-rising flour and my self-rising cornmeal mix then i'll add in a little bit of sugar some salt and i'll give that a nice little mix around then you want to take your green onions you can add as much as you like and a little bit of nutritional yeast which is going to give it a little bit of a cheesy flavor then you're going to go ahead and shave in your butter now if you have a pastry blender that will be amazing but if not you're going to take that knife and you're going to make sure your butter is nice and cold and you're going to cut that into your mix all right you're going to add in enough milk just until it's wet and then you're going to start to form it you want to make sure you can scrape it all off next your you want to make sure you flour your surface with the cornmeal mixture and the self-rising flour and using self-rising just eliminates the steps of you actually adding baking powder to it which makes your dough rise you want to make sure it's evenly coated and get a nice little layer of flour on it so you don't overwork your dough i use my pinky to measure out the size of my biscuits because that's how thick i want it and then i take a champagne glass this is a hat guys you don't have to buy a biscuit cutter you can use a champagne glass to make small biscuits or a mason jar to make larger biscuits you know i'm all about being resourceful before i became a grandmother i was called a little grandma i was hiding in my body because i had to make things do what i had to do now my oven is super hot so i keep mine on 400 degrees you may want to put yours on 425 but you want to make sure you lay your biscuits on some parchment paper before putting it in the oven and i like to put it in the middle rack so it doesn't get burned and i cook these for about eight minutes and add a little bit of plant-based butter to them and then i go ahead and remove them for the oven now to plate this dish up i'm going to start off with those greens do you see how delicious this looks they are stewed to the gods now y'all know i'm known for my braised collard greens that i cook in under an hour that's super tender but these stewed greens are telling a different story for my ancestors it is giving life when i tell you the smell from these the texture from these it is literally like the ancestors said girl show these people what they got to do because we ain't got to use the ham hock no more we ain't got to put the meat in the greens for it to be absolutely delicious now if they want to keep doing it let them do them but show them something different girl show them your ways <laughs> i mean when i tell you baby 
These greens was life. I cannot wait for y'all to try them out. And share this recipe with someone who would love it. Don't gatekeep. But I would love to know how you all make your greens in the comments below. Ciao.